Hi and welcome to Retract Overview. Let's pretend I want to isolate this banana. I can draw a mask around the banana and track it, of course. But as we all know, mask tracking can fail. So let's try Retract instead. I draw a very simple mask and I track the mask position, scale and rotation. It's a very simple and perfectly working tracking. So mask selected and click on the track button. The script generates a point for each mask vertex. This panel will drive me step by step. I'm gonna draw the final mask around the banana. When I'm done, I click on the select button to load the mask into the track engine. This useful marker show me the reference time for each mask drawing. Let's start by selecting just one tracked point and retrack. As you see, the mask has been retracted by using the point info. Of course, it doesn't work well because one point can generate only position data. So let's try again by selecting two points, holding down the shift key, retract. Now the tracking works a lot better because two points makes Retrack able to calculate also the rotation and the scale data. If I want to select all the points, I can unselect all. Retrack will use all available data. Track, more data, better tracking. When I click on done, I can remove or draw new masks or I can choose the output. The banana mask points can be converted to a bunch of different items and I'll show you all of them, but this time I'm gonna set it to a mask on a new layer. The layer is duplicated, and here it is my retracted mask. Let's have a look at this rotor work. As you see, it is not perfect here, here, and here, and also here. If you try to adjust the mask, it won't work because the mask is animated and I should edit all the keyframes one by one. So let's undo and give the edit tool a try. Select the mask and click on the edit tool. To show you how it works, I'm gonna make it messy. Let's edit the mask this way and click on set. A marker is generated. The mask animation is adjusted accordingly. If I move at start time and I edit the mask and I click on set again, a new marker is generated. Retrack calculates all the variations between key 1 and key 2, adjusting all the keys within that range. Retrack edit mode works like Mocha, it is a virtual keyframing system that works on top of the basic keyframes. I set the last key. If I want to remove a virtual key, I just click on delete. Nothing happens, because in order to work, I have to move the time bar at the marker position. Let's delete now. The virtual key is removed and the mask values are adjusted to the left virtual keys. When I'm done, I just close the panel. Retract stores all the edit data on the mask itself, so I can edit again. The virtual keys are back online. If I click on reset, all the virtual keys are removed and the animation gets back to the original state. Ok, let's edit the tracking the right way. Oh sorry, I closed the panel. Ok, look, it took just a minute and 4 virtual keyframes to fix the tracking issues over 60 frames. This is cool, isn't it? Let's desaturate and isolate the mask. The edit tool works on masks, tracker points, corner pins, mocha data and on every X and Y After Effects animated property in general. Here I got a difficult shot where the mark is not visible. Let's create three track points for the visible marks. To get the second point, I select and duplicate the first one by holding down Ctrl D 
on Windows or Command D on Mac. Same for point three. And I'm ready to track. Well, perfect tracking. Let's get back to the composition panel. Track points selected and track. The tracked points are here. I draw the mask. Here I have to guess where the fourth point is. Of course, I have these lines references. Okay, I load the mask. Loaded. And I'm gonna retract by using all the points, so no selection required. Retract. And let's check the missing track. Well done. The track engine choose the best points data among all reliable tracks to calculate the position of the missing track. Done. And this time I set a corner pin output. There is also the option to create a check layer to value the corner pin clearly. Set. Retract generated a comp and applied a tracked corner pin effect. Inside the comp there is a solid layer with a checkerboard effect. I will disable the effect and tape something, just for fun. Retract, scale it up a bit. Now let's finish the job in the main comp. I duplicate the video and key the ARP with key light. Well, it's not a key light tutorial, it's just to show you the final shot. That's good. Look at this shot. It's difficult to track because the screen ends up outside of the composition. In this particular case, I will try 3D camera tracking, which generates many more references. Be sure to switch the detailed analysis on to get the best tracking quality. Well, well, there are many good tracked points here. Let's look for more points by scrolling the time bar. Ok. 8 should be enough. I generate the camera and the 3D solids. They work nicely in 3D space also beyond the composition. Solids selected and track. The 3D solids are converted into 2D tracked points, and the cool thing is that they are also tracked outside of the comp range. I draw the screen mask, and select the mask, and then retract. The side of the screen is not aligned. So, I go back to the reference frame, where I draw the mask, and I try to select only the points on the marks, which are probably more reliable. Retract. As you see, it works a lot better than before. Let's stick on this tracking. Done. And I set up a corner pin. Now a fast check on the corners. The alignment is not perfect. Let's refine the tracking with the edit tool. If I select the corner pin effect, Retrack will edit all the corners data at once. I'm gonna speed up the video. And look, just four virtual keyframes and one minute, and the retracking is perfect. Let's play the footage. What if I need to remove this sand bunker from the video? I try Mocha just to show you retract support. Click on the logo to open the shot in the main program. Let's zoom holding the Z key and draw the mask. I enable the surface tool to align the tracking data corners with the tracking mask. Select Perspective and let's track forward and backward. The tracked surface is perfect. I save and I exit Mocha. All the data are pushed into Mocha effect. If I click on Create Maths, 
Mocha generates the tracked mask. If I click on Create Track Data instead, the plugin generates the tracked corners and center point of the aligned surface. Retrack support selected Mocha data, which are converted to retrack points. For my purpose, I need to draw just two points. Select, track, and done. Why two points? Well, because I'm gonna output to a transform node and it only accepts a two points mask. Set, the null is generated. And here they are the tracked position, rotation, and scale. I will use this null as a drive for my cloned footage. I duplicate and solo the clone, and I draw the mask for the area I want to remove. Of course, the sand bunker moves. When I parent, the clone follows the null transformations. I need one more step to make it work. Layer menu, time, freeze frame. Now the bunker follows the null the right way. Let's add some mask feather. The last step is to use the pan behind tool to move the frame content around. Well, the patch is ready. Disable the solo. And the bunker is removed. One more thing. Retrack also supports mocha tracking data editing. Mocha effect selected, of course. And edit. As for the corner pin effect, Retrack adjusts all the tracked corners and center at once. Let's edit a bit just to make it clear. Set virtual key 1 and 2. Look at the shot. Well, I'm gonna add some tracked bulge effects. Let's remove the effects and draw a mask around the face to run a face tracking in the tracker panel. Face tracking is really fast and precise. I set the mask to none and I select the face tracking to load its data into the track engine. I'm gonna draw three one vertex masks on the eyes and on the mouth. After the first one, hold down the control key and left mouse button on Windows or command on Mac to exit the mask drawing and draw the second one and again for the third one. I select all the masks and retract. Perfect. Well, now I select the effects properties output. Of course, Retract doesn't know which effect property, so it asks to select one. They must all be to the properties. I still have to add the effects, so I select the layer and I remove the face tracking and I add a distort bulge effect. I duplicate the effect two times, so they are three, one for each track point. Because I track three points, Retrack will need three selected properties, bulge center one, two, and three. Okay. Every single bulge center got its tracking position. So the first bulge center is here. The second one here. And the third one here. Same masks drawing order. Let's play just for fun. Of course, the tracked effects properties are supported by Retrack Edit tool. Look at the shot. 
I track motion points, a couple of masks, and also 3D tracking already generated solids, and face tracking, and mocha transform data. I select all the tracking data and track. The track can load and handle all that different data source at once. I'm gonna isolate the girl lips. In order to do that, I drew two masks, one for the outside, one for the inside. Okay, I select both of them. I'll try to retract by using all the points. There are some bad tracked points here and here. Too much data is not always the right choice. So I focus on the outside mask and I select only the points closest to the mask. Well, it works much better. Done. And let's work on the inside mask. I try by selecting all the mouth points. It's fine, I fix it in a blink. This is the multi retracking workflow. When I set the new masks layer, because I selected many source layers, the script asks to select the one I want to apply the masks to. And boom, I got only the retracted masks. Let's change the color. Now I fix the outside mask. Edit. And six edit keys. Now the inside mask. Five keys. Let's change the lips color with a color correction. Triton effect. And now I change the mask mode to add on the outside mask and to subtract on the inside mask. I add some feather to both masks. Let's go back to the sand bunker and generate the mocha tracked mask and set it to none. Every mocha generated mask has many vertices, but if I retract by using this mask, as you see, only 8 points are generated. How do I change that? Well, let's open the settings and change the number of vertices retract is allowed to use per mask. 16. Track again. And now retract generates 16 points. If I want to use all the points, I set an higher number. Let's say 50 for each mask. Now I got all the points. Let's talk about 3D camera tracking. If I need to track this window behind the wall, 3D camera tracking is the perfect solution. So let's do it. It works, but if I open the advanced options, the average error is more than one. It can affect the 3D tracking quality a lot, or sometimes the tracking can fail. Why that? Well, it happens when one or more subjects move and camera tracker cannot detect that it is a moving subject. In this case, I can draw a simple mask around the moving subject and isolate the guy animating the mask with a couple of keyframes. Now subtract the mask and layer menu, precompose. 
move the attributes in the new comp. So now I got a shot without the moving subject. 3D tracking again. The tracking is fine. And now the tracking error is 0 0.8, less than 1. Well done. I remove this mask and I track a new one using the Bezier handles. I change the color and set to none mask selected. If I track using the skew or the perspective mode, look at what happens. At the starting frame I have my four vertices, but on the following frames the tracker increased the vertices number. If I try to retract by using this mask, retract detects the vertices change over time and stop. The tip here is to draw masks avoiding the Bezier handles. Let's try. I remove the bad mask and I draw a new one using only simple points. Let's track again. The number of vertices doesn't change over time. In fact, now retract works. I'm working on a solution coming together with new improvements in the next major update. That's all guys, enjoy retrack.